Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boom and coming at you with yet another video. Guys, please do all the things that the algorithm likes. If you wouldn't mind leaving a couple comments down below. Boy, do we got a doozy for you today. I got my Robitussin locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. And well, 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 well. Mmm. How the tables have turned. How things have come full circle. If you guys don't know what the heck I'm talking about, Mark Cuban is now investing in a Cardano project. Isn't that funny? Isn't that nice? Just a couple years ago, Mark Cuban had all sorts of negative things to say about Cardano. How nobody was using it. How, you know, him and Charles Hoskinson got into a little spat about, you know, the validity of Cardano and Mark Cuban has some not so flattering things to say about Ada. And now all of a sudden we get news that Mark Cuban is an early investor in a Cardano project. Wow. Oh boy. How things come full circle guys, how things come full circle. And that's why I always say on this channel is not who laughs first. Okay. A lot of people can laugh first. It's who laughs last, who always wins in the end, guys. And that's why Cardano will make it. Because we are going to be laughing last. We are going to be the one that stands the test of time. Okay? If you guys don't remember, <clears throat> when Mark Cuban got into crypto, I believe he was in the Terra Luna. He was all in the Ethereum. He was a big Ethereum guy back back then. He lost billions of dollars on something called Iron Finance. You guys don't remember that. That was a long time ago. And he didn't have a whole lot of nice things to say about Cardano. But now, all of a sudden, he's coming crawling back to Cardano to invest in one of the projects that I am very, very excited for. And that's Book.io. Okay. While most while the most dreaded crypto winner is still biting hard, Book.io, a Cardano-based project, is landing top investors in the venture capital world as its partner. According to a recent revelation made by the startup billionaire investor Mark Cuban, is notably one of its investors. Huh? Isn't that funny? As revealed by uh, Bad Crypto Pod earlier, Mark Cuban is an early investor, grateful to all the advice and connections he's given us along the way. According to the startup, which brands itself as a multi-chain outfit, Mark Cuban has not just invested money in the outfit, but provided invaluable advice and helped the firm generate connections as well. Book.io is committed to perpetually making books and media Different forums live on chain. Why is book.io important? Well, as we're going into the digital world, <clears throat> the things that we quote unquote own, we don't really own them. They're owned by big companies. So, for example, I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Right now, I'm listening to an audiobook um, called, I keep forgetting the, the darn name of it. <clears throat> um, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance and that is a philosophical book I listened to it and it's, it's a good book and it's very very easy to access on Audible however what if Amazon goes bye bye what if Amazon goes out of business which it will eventually um, all businesses go out of business eventually <clears throat> what's going to happen to all those audiobooks that I purchased? They're gone. But with book.io, you can buy the books and they are saved on the blockchain forever. So they're yours forever. Okay. Books are mentioned as non fungible tokens on different chains, but with most titles resident on Cardano. According to this book minting page, the startup was co founded by Joshua Stone and Ben Ilian. Since its inception, the startup has charted a growth path that attracted investors like Ingram Content Group. Within the first month of launch, Book.io generated over 250,000 wow, 250, in net sales and revenue and continues to generate daily royalties for secondary market sales. 
presenting a vibrant business model with globally acceptable fundamentals. The platform continues to gain traction to date. All right, guys. So book.io, shout out to them. We cover them a lot on this channel. So I'm, I'm very, very happy to see this. And welcome to the club, Mark. All right. I know, I know you had, had some not so <clears throat> nice things to say about Cardano, but you know, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a man of second chances. So welcome to the club. Uh, it's okay to be wrong as long as you uh, correct that mistake and become right. And it looks like he's becoming right now. And uh, this is good to see. I'm not even going to sit here and say that this is a negative. This is an extreme positive. We need more billionaires supporting Cardano, supporting Cardano projects. And I think that this is going to be a good thing. So welcome aboard, Mark Cuban. Took you long enough. And with that being said, let's keep Cardano decentralized, guys. Follow OneCom on Twitter. For Cardano news and notes, 0% fees until at least the end of December 2023 for all existing and new delegators, guys. Keep Cardano decentralized, okay? We have to. Support small stake pool operators out there. Follow OneCom on Twitter. 0% fees until at least the end of December 2023 for all existing and new delegators. Do it now. <clears throat> Moving on, guys. Cardano continues to break TVL all-time highs. MinSwap is the king of the chains, all right? With 62.89 million total value locked. This is only going to bode well for us as we get into the bull run, guys, all right? The more TVL we have, the more people using DeFi and Cardano, the higher the price of Cardano is going to be when the bull run occurs. I'm just letting y'all know that, all right? I'm just letting y'all know that. I'm very, very happy right now. We are at 392 million ADA locked. That is insane, guys. That is insane. And I'm super happy to see this, okay? Uh, Cardano DeFi has only been out for, what, about a year? Year and a half, maybe? Since February? So maybe maybe a year, and we're already at 392 million ADA locked. Let's get this to a billion. I think we can. All right, it's just going to take a matter of time. Slow but steady growth, and we will get to where we need to get to. <clears throat> and then finally, guys, we got some minor news here. Nothing too crazy. We got Emergo Academy with some more heat. Join us for a webinar option, a Pythonic language for writing smart contracts on Cardano. Speaker Nels Mundler, founder, focusing on the development of option and uh, Pi Cardano, computer scientist, Eth Zernrich. So there's another webinar um, that you guys can learn about programming on Cardano, guys, April 18th, 2023 at 2 30 p.m utc all right guys live zoom education.emergo.io go ahead and sign up i love y'all i'll talk to y'all guys later with the b chain and cardano updates i'm gonna try to kick this cough <clears throat> try to kick this sickness the sickness is like a clingy girlfriend man it does not want to let me go i don't know what the heck's going on previous to this i haven't been sick since covid since 2020, I haven't been sick. And now, it's 2023. I haven't been sick in like three years, and now I can't kick it. So, I don't know what's going on, guys, but I'm going to get better. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Keep chopping. Bye. Thank you so much, VeChain and Cardano Army, for your amazing Patreon support, guys. I'd like to give a shout-out to Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farouz Dan, Kyle Bocci, CryptoSVT.SI, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson the Second, Kragen, All Flare LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and VET Docky. I hope you enjoyed the show, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon.